Hi Jeepers, it's Tremaine back with another Sunday video. And this week we are picking back up on the Ten Commandments with commandment number two. That's right. And we're going to read in our Bible starting from Exodus 32. Grab your word or this word and let's get into it. Great. This story is about the golden calf because in commandment number two, God commanded us to have no idols, right? We should not praise anyone above him. And so in chapter 32 of Exodus, we'll see how the children of Israel did the exact opposite of that. Let's go. When Moses failed to come back down from the mountain right away, the people went to Aaron and said, Look, make some gods for us so that they can lead us. This man Moses, who brought us here from Egypt, has now disappeared. We don't know what's happened to him. So Aaron said to them, Tell your wives, sons, and daughters to take off all their gold rings, earrings, and bracelets, and bring them to me. All the people obeyed Aaron and brought them their gold. Then Aaron took the gold, melted it down, and molded it, tooled it into a shape of a calf. Who knows what a calf is? That's right, it's a baby cow, a little cow, right? And so he made it into the shape of a little cow, and the people exclaimed, Oh, Israel, these are the gods who brought you to Egypt. Now, is that out of Egypt? Is that true? No. No golden calf brought them out of Egypt, right? So now they've forgotten who their God is. They've forgotten who did all of these wonderful miracles that we talked about in the weeks prior to bring them into their freedom and give them even gold pieces to be able to donate for something like this. Wow, how quickly we forget some of the things that God has done for us. Let's keep reading. When Aaron saw how excited the people were about it, he built an altar in front of the calf and announced, tomorrow there will be a festival of the Lord. So the people got up early the next morning to sacrifice burnt offerings and peace offerings. After this, they celebrated with feasting and drinking and indulging themselves. Then the Lord told Moses, quick, go down from the mountain. The people that we brought out of Egypt have defiled themselves. They have already turned away from the things that I commanded and the ways that I told them to live, they have made an idol shaped like a calf, and they're worshiping him. They are sacrificing to it. These are your gods. You would rather praise these? God is pretty angry. He brought us out of Egypt, or he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, and now they are just praising something that they made with their own hands. The Lord said, I have seen how stubborn and rebellious these people are. Now leave me alone to my anger so that I can blaze against them and destroy them all. But Moses, as their leader, cared deeply about them and he pleaded on their behalf. He asked the Lord, please do not destroy these people. Give me a chance to go to them, right? So he pleaded on their behalf and went down and let the people know about God's anger. After he got down and saw, this is Moses now, saw that the calves, the people were dancing and having fun all around the calf. In terrible anger, he threw the stone tablets. Remember the stone tablets? Those are the things that he wrote the Ten Commandments. God wrote the Ten Commandments on he threw the stone tablets on the ground, smashing them at the foot of the mountain. Then he took the calf and made that they made and melted.
into the into into the fire. When the metal cooled, he ground it up and mixed it into water. And so Moses also could feel the anger that God had after seeing how he how they had been brought out of um, Egypt captivity and now they're praising some random thing that they made on their own. Now let's make this a little closer to home. Okay, G kids, help me out here. There are a ton of things that can be idols in our lives, right? Netflix, for me, maybe CNN, um, all kinds of things like things that we own, our iPads, our AirPods, our um, favorite books, favorite TV shows, some of our favorite people might even be idols. Idols are anything that keep us from God, anything that's separating us from spending time with Him, from getting wisdom from Him, and from doing the things that we know that He would like us to do with our lives and our time and our energy, right? And so if we do a gut check, is there anything that's holding you from being your best self? Is there anything that's holding you back from spending time with God and knowing what God wants for you? We got to really ask ourselves those questions and begin to spend time and put those things back together. As you can see, God is very jealous and he was super unhappy that the people could so easily forget about his love for them, so easily forget about the things that he's done for them. And I do not want to be like the children of Israel. I do not want to feel God's wrath. And that's, that's his anger. And so I pray that you don't have to feel that because we together will keep God first and not have anything that keeps us away from him. And that's why I try to be with you guys every week on Sunday because we want to make sure that we pull it together and stay close to the Lord, right? We believe in him and we love him. So I've got questions. I'm sure you've got questions, but I have some for you. If you have questions, you can definitely email me. But these are the questions from this week's story. Let's go. While Moses was at the mount talking to God, the children of Israel made a church or a golden calf or a statue of Moses. You're right. They made a golden calf. Second question. The people made an idol from gold that they, A, owned, found, or stole. Yes, they made the golden calf out of gold that they already owned. And who made the idol for the people to worship? Aaron, yes, Moses' assistant. Aaron helped them make the idol. When God saw what they made, he wanted to destroy them. That's right. <laughs> Fifth question. God gave the people a second chance and Moses did what? Destroy the calf. Okay, and so um, in closing, we're going to pray together, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. All righty, let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for protecting us, loving us, and doing for us. Help us to keep the main thing the main thing, and that is you. Help us to praise you. Help us to not let anyone or anything come between our relationship with you. We just pray that we just continue to grow deeper and stronger in our love, wisdom, and relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, G Kids, and we'll see you next week. Also, wait, wait, parents, when you have time, we have an album inside the E Church just for G Kids activities throughout the week. I drop items in there for G kids to do, like word puzzles, and this week we have a color sheet for them um, 
So please don't forget to check inside those albums because I do drop things in there like memory verses. Go in there, check it out, share with your kids, print it. Thank you so much. We love you. Until next week. Bye.